It's my daughter who went on close shop to go house. My police should go. They're going to eat my baby. Is my younger sister on the streets, you know, from another mother. And the mother has always been a very good person. She sells pepe and fruit. And Tina is a very good girl. Everybody loves her. On Tuesday night, on getting to Bega, so I saw uh, a policeman and the bus, commercial bus driver, with a white bus. We don't know, I don't know what conspired between them. So I was hearing, I don't have 200 Naira. And the police was saying, give me 200 Naira. And the other, the bus driver said, I have 100 Naira. So we don't really know what happened. As the guy was heading into the, the bus, they shot the tire out of annoyance. So maybe the driver got angry and tried to drove off. So they shot another. Uh, uh, they are gone. They shot the gun again. So the gun went from behind the bus and hit the driver on the steering. So people were now shouting like, ha, ha, in Yoruba language, you've killed someone. So they helped him to carry the uh, bus driver and drove off. We don't know whether they took him to the hospital. We don't know that one. It was around past eight that the scenario happened. They said because he violated the curfew law. So they wanted uh, the man to sell to them before they can open the road. There is another uh, checking point police officer that is Wariga police there. So people were not like, uh -uh. you, these policemen that you were there, you don't even act like something happened. You don't even have human feelings at all. Eh? You don't act like something. So people were trying to protest. The next thing, the man just come like, more could they go, more of na go na house. I go shoot now. So people were running. I don't know the name, well, I think it's Yofila or something, and one other black man too. They call him Ogun. They were two. So he was like, I will shoot you. I will shoot you. Mokuna, go in the house. People were like, uh-uh. Why will you shoot us now? We are protesting for the guy that was shot. The way the man is handling the gun, me, if I see gun, I they run. I know. So the way he was handling the gun, I left the place. I went to. So I'm getting home. My house is just about uh, two, three minutes to Bega and Uru there. So I was about to look, I had another gunshot. Like, ah. Uh -uh. So people were screaming, like, ah. They've shot him. They've shot him. That is not their first time of shooting an innocent person in that Bega and Uru. The policeman called Teoplos. The man always come around there and make trouble with people. And he always used torch, pointing people's face in the night. My sister is about to, they are locking their shop to go house with, him, with her daughter. That's how they meet the bullet. His brother, King Ezekwe, want to carry the sister. The policeman now ran to her. See, if you know, leave that lady, he will shoot him. The, mo the boy now leave the lady and run away. Before we could know, they now disappeared from that place. The, the brother took him to, to one hospital in the Barrega, Gelad Hospital at Barrega. After that, they cannot be able to, because of there is no equipment there. Before the DPO now called an ambulance to take the lady, and the DPO follows the lady to Lagos Island uh, Hospital. That's where they admit her before she gave up. When we rushed the gear to Lagos Teaching Hospital, Ireland, when doctor they admit uh, doctor said they will need four pints of blood. We will now call DPO. DPO now said, okay, he sent fifty thousand to a colleague to bring to doctor. When he brought the money, we will buy, we'll buy four pints of blood. We we'll buy four pints of blood. We are using two before the girl gave up. When she pronounced the uh, dead. We have to inform the DPO of Barrega 
division. He says it is, we should sorry that uh, so let's hand everything to God. So after that, they want, they arrested the the ASP that shot the lady. Was he she, he wanted to run? The DP owner sent his boys to arrest him. After they arrest him, they take him to Gudu Police Command. We are we take from there we take the man to Panti. There are about uh, five four inspector and one ASP. Uh, if not be by the grace of God, she have collapsed in Lagos Island. That's why I drag him just, uh, from that from his place to this place, so that I can be able to revive her. That's why you see him in this condition. See, since up to four days, uh, up to five days now, he didn't test anything. The justice will run in the sense that the man, according to the law, the man have to fake the punishment as a murder. And the two thinner side, the family must be compensated and is fitting barrier.